I'm here. Back in the show, Wrestling Observer Live. Jim Valley is joining us here today. A reason I was, I was late there for a moment is I've just been furiously typing all day. The last few days, like, I, 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 I go away from my phone for 10 minutes. I come back and there is a brand new disaster. And I'm going to tell you as much as I can tell you here today... What I can't tell you, maybe you'll be able to piece it together, and I'm sure a lot of this is going to come out. Uh, some of this stuff that I'm going to tell you, I've heard from multiple people. There are other things I've only heard from, like, one person, so I need follow-up on that before I talk about it. I'm trying to just do the best I can here. As is, I want to add, so many people in wrestling right now. I'm going to actually start with something that just seems stupid, and it is stupid, but there's a lot of reasons why it's stupid. WWE has revealed the tagline for July's Extreme Rules pay-per-view. The pay-per-view is now referred to as WWE Extreme Rules The Horror Show. The event is taking place Sunday, July 19th, blah, 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 blah. Dude, like, come on. I've heard from... I, I can't even tell you how many people over the last couple of days. And no one has actually used the exact term horror show, but they have used a term very close to that that I can't say here on Sports Byline Radio. Okay? This is a freaking disaster. And and to come out and... There's like no mention of anything by WWE. Uh, nothing. Like everything is being kept as quiet as possible, not just publicly, but privately. I mean, there are stories I could tell you about this, the way this is being handled internally that just, it would blow your mind. And now they're coming out and they're calling the next pay-per-view horror show? I mean, come on. I had people yesterday going, Oh, uh, Brian, it, 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 this seems like something ridiculous to get angry about. Yeah, maybe on the surface it does if you don't know anything. But uh, trust me, I ain't the only person. I was furious about this tagline. The, the people within the company are furious that it's so flippant. Horror show. All right, now let me tell you what's going on here today that I can tell you. So, today they were supposed to tape a SmackDown, and they were supposed to tape a Raw. Okay? And as far as I know, they taped SmackDown. I believe SmackDown has already been taped. I believe there are still people in the building. And the idea was that we're going to go from, from taping SmackDown to, to taping Raw. So... Uh, at this exact moment, it believe I, I, at, at this exact moment, I believe that SmackDown has finished taping, and now they're taping 205 Live. I'm getting information as we do this show. Okay, so Raw not taping here today. That's weird. They've they've announced that Raw, I guess, is being taped tomorrow. So, what I have been told by multiple people is that. They tested everybody on the Raw side, and they did not like the results. I mean, you could put two and two together. And so they're retesting everybody, and they're moving the show to tomorrow. Now, I have no numbers. I have zero numbers for Raw, everybody. How many people's test results say did not like, okay? But, like, whatever number it is, I mean, it was enough that they didn't tape today. So they're retesting. So you're telling me that they expect that, like, on this test, all of a sudden, all of those results are going to go the other way? And they're just going to be able to tape Saturday? Well, I guess that's what they figure is going to happen because they've retested everyone and are waiting for tomorrow's results. Now, on top of that, I was told that tomorrow is also the day that a lot of other results are going to come back. And I'm not sure if that's the SmackDown side, the NXT side, both. But, I mean, the feeling is that tomorrow is going to be another bad day in terms of, of results. Now, more people have come forward with, with uh, the revelation that they have tested positive. And one of them is Jamie Noble. Now, for those of you that don't know Jamie Noble's role, Jamie Noble is a producer. And what that means is he helps people put their 
masks to, or their matches together. Certainly not their masks. I can tell you that much. So I could tell you also as a fact from multiple sources that Jamie Noble was in the ring with so many people, and he was he was going over their matches and he was running through things, and like now everybody is worried that oh my god. It's possible that I got this from Jamie Noble. I'm not blaming Jamie Noble at all. I'm just pointing out that Jamie Noble has come out as positive for coronavirus, and he was in the ring with one person after another going over everything the last time that they were there for a taping, which I guess would have been last, let me think about this, Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, it was Wednesday because they were going to do another SmackDown. They were going to tape two SmackDowns, if I recall correctly, and then they canceled that taping and they moved that taping to uh, today. So there is a SmackDown for the show tonight. I know that the WWE was was promoting it was going to be a, a Thank You Undertaker episode of the show. And if you love the Boneyard match, you're going to be able to watch the Boneyard match tonight. It's not a full recap show. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, it's going to be like 30 minutes of the Boneyard match and 90 minutes of new content with, I guess, whoever's there. I guess we're going to find out. And as noted, you know, Jamie Noble was all over the show last week. He was he was interacting with everybody, and now he's positive, and now a lot of people are worried. So there's more that I've heard, but I have not confirmed it yet. But, like, dude, if you think what I just told you was bad... I mean, it's bad. It is bad. And I'll tell you as much as I'm able to tell you, and if I hear more throughout the show, I'll let you know. But, Jim, your chance to to get some wisdom out. There's another number you're not talking about, Brian. 8,942 new COVID-19 cases in Florida. And that is a new high for Florida, with another high expected on the way. And that is with accusations that the government in Florida is miscounting and suppressing these numbers. You know, it's ridiculous. WWE has seen record profits this year. They're taping because they're making record television money right now. They're doing all of this because there's a lot on the line. That's why Vince McMahon at the last minute did everything making WWE an essential business months ago. You'd think with all of these things on the line and everything so important, you would want to be careful and you would want to take things seriously and you would want to test and you would want to be safe and you would want to protect your assets. You'd want to protect your employees, your uh, WWE superstars. You would want to go that extra mile so you can maintain this television money and everything that is so important to you. It's not a small company. It's not a tiny company. It's not a startup. And it's making record profits this year. He has the assets. He has the infrastructure. He has the ability to test and be much more careful and much more responsible. We did not need to end up here. And here's the other thing. In show business, Brian, here's the plus side and the downside. You're a product and a commodity. And what that means is that people have to feel good when they want to watch your product and invest in your product, buy tickets, buy merchandise, and everything. How many people do you think are going to be turned off by all of this? And really, so much of what Vince has done has been short-sighted because people no longer feel good about this product. What he has done is ridiculous. He's had too much to lose with all of this, and he's taken the short way and the imprudent way. There was a way to do this the right way. He could have spent some extra money, taken some extra time, which he had all of the resources readily available, and he chose not to, and it all comes down to him. This is this is on him. This is his fault, period. Oh, dude. A, it's a failure Jim, of leadership. This is absolutely 100% Vince McMahon's fault. Yeah. And I have heard so many stories over the last 24 hours about things that Vince has said, and we've all seen things that Vince has done. I mean, there's a massive story here, and, like, it's only being covered in... I, I got more after the break. Back in a moment, Observer Live. All right, uh, back here on the show, Brian Alvarez here. Wrestling Observer Live. Jim Valley joining us here today. So, uh, hold on, everyone. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I got 10 screens on right now. So, national headline today. 
of course, 16 NBA players test positive in one day. <laughs> Bro, this is, this is everything we've talked about for years. That all of this terrible thing hap- these terrible things happen in wrestling. And because it's wrestling, people get away with things, flies under the radar. How in God's name? I realize it's the NBA. I realize, obviously I realize, it's, quote, just wrestling. But dude, how is this not a story? We know X number of names. I'm trying to think. I think five total have come out publicly. I can tell you for a fact that the company doesn't want anyone tweeting about it if they're positive, of course. Some people are doing it anyway, and there are more to come out. I I have heard other names that have tested positive that have not tweeted about it because they know they're not supposed to. But between the people who have tested positive and come out publicly, the people that I've heard that have not come out publicly, and there are also... I have been told, some friends and family that are now affected. The numbers here, dude, 16 NBA players is a national headline. Dude. What's going on here? Don't you remember like months ago, the NBA player was at uh, Rudy Gobert? He was at a press conference where well, he, that, he had it. That was a little different him. because he was like really stupid about it. Right. But I'm just saying, he literally touched microphones and got, teammate, got a teammate infected. I mean, that's how easy it can be. It's, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous that we're having to talk about this again and again and again. And you have people who are refusing to stay up with everybody and be educated and keep asking questions that we were asking in March and February that have been answered and proven a long, long time ago. It's, it's embarrassing and it's just, it's, it's sad where we are today.